Thanks. No, that's, this is where you're twisted up like a fucking pretzel, Chris. Yeah, I do yoga. <laughs> Alright. I'm oh, sorry. Whenever you guys are ready. Hi. So, who, who is your daddy and what does he do? So, uh, hi, my name is Chris. I'm the guitarist for Beer Mid Scheme. We, uh, we started out back in 2009 with uh, myself and Nick on vocals. Right? I'm Nick, I do vocals for Beer Mid Scheme. Uh, Our friend Matt Bradywood on the bongos, uh, Tim on bass, and uh, this fucking guy Steve on drums. Uh, we released an EP a long time ago. It was Black Flag ass. <laughs> And, uh, but our first real album, you Can't Spell Slaughter Without Laughter. Thing went fucking gold overnight. Thing was great. I don't, I didn't know what to say after that. Dude, Tim was the coolest, all right? Tim was the most chill guy I ever met, and he always kept us father muckers in line. Matt Bradywood decided to uh, break off from the band and go form this Primus-type band, except based on bongos. Guy's amazing. Steve, uh, guy was like a fucking neo-Nazi with hair. He was awful, and, uh, Tim's not around anymore. All right, I mean, yeah, being in a band, it was, it was pretty insane, just living that rock and roll lifestyle, just drinking, partying, breaking shit, stealing shit, just doing whatever you want. It was, it was pretty wild, it was wild. And, uh, but now, now I'm broke, you know, it caught up to me. I haven't, I've been doing so well, but I'm doing better than I was, you know, in the past. And... So uh, I was really into getting the band back together and getting ready for our, uh, a new and upcoming album, and Tim, you know, Nick's the only one that ever expressed interest in it, so he's back with me, and together we're coming out with a new album. So we're gonna go see our guy Austin, who uh, has recording gear and a recording setup, and uh, we're gonna go work on some new material. Rock and roll. But like, this is our last shot. You know, this new album, me and Chris, we're gonna kill it. We're we're gonna be great again. You know what I mean? We're gonna be be beer mid scheme again. You don't know the first part of every good business model. No. The oh. first part of every good business model is a business bathroom. Oh, that place. They you know who has a good business model? I know. IHOP. You know who has a bad business model? The Chinese restaurant with the kids. Yeah. Let me tell you about the good business model, all right? You go into IHOP, and the first thing you notice is a door with some girth to it. You shut it, and it's got a push-button lock that you have some faith in. The toilet is against the opposite wall, so whether you're taking a leak or taking a shit, nobody sees anything. More importantly, the soap is an automatic dispenser, and they have an actual paper towel roll instead of one of those goddamn Dyson monstrosities. That's literally just people sneezing on your fucking hands. What's up, Chris? Yeah, Chris. Hey. What do you got, man? Uh, well, I got a rods band, I got some guitars, Gibson, maybe a Fender bass, uh, some pedals, a drum kit. You guys can use whatever you want. Cool. Cool, I'm into it. Yeah. More into the Fender than the Gibsons, that's cool. Use a garage band to record? Yeah, yeah. All right, what about what about mics, man? Uh, it's built into the Mac, so yeah, we're all set. I'm ready when you guys are. Cool, let's, uh, let's rock and roll. All right, sweet. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is just play out the tempo on this with your right hand while closing, while holding those shot. Oh, that hand. That hit's supposed to be under that one, and you use that one to hit the snare. Snare. Dude, I don't know snare. anything about So you're learning, you're figuring it out, go ahead. Alright. And then and then every once in a while, like instead of hitting the snare, kick the kick the drum. Yeah. Alright. Got it? Got it. Alright. Go for it. Right. Other hand. Yeah, no, that one just go below that one. Okay, now just.
All right, different idea. Fuck! I hate this pit, dude. It's terrible. I'm very, uh, picky. Yeah, so my choice in guitars is very, um, well, specific. See, now, I am a, uh, I'm a Fender guy, particularly a Fender Telecaster man, as you can tell from here. Now, here's the thing with a Telecaster, right? A Telecaster, you can own too many of. I have probably about, uh, 29 Stratocasters, and, um, really a nice guitar. You can't own too many of them, but if you own 29 Telecasters, you're a freak. I'm Matt Bradywood, that guy. Great guy, I played the bongos. He always uh, wore some really, really crazy clothes and just like ripped up the bongos. He was like the entertainer, you know what I mean? And there's Chris. Uh, Chris is like the leader. I mean, you know, musically. Look at him, dude out there playing, playing the guitar right now. And, uh, but, you know, yeah, he writes the songs and we go with it. It's cool, it's cool. And uh, Steve, yeah, Steve was a dick. He was a dick. He can play the drums, though. Kind of like Animal from the Muppets, but... Uh, Hey, he was just a drunken asshole. Get drunk, just be a dick. Fuck that guy. And then there's Tim, you know, Tim played bass, trying to talk about Tim. He's a pretty big part of my life. I mean, don't tell these guys. I'm like, he was always my favorite. You know. I don't know, Tim, what happened? We were in Nashville one night. We at this strip club. And uh, uh, it, was, it was fine, you know. We were just, like, drinking, doing coke and stuff. And he's getting all tweaky. And we are I didn't really know what was up with him. And... It was kind of, it was a little hard up for money. Like we we weren't doing so hot, and uh, so we go outside. I mean, well, next thing you know, Tim Tim runs outside. I'm gonna follow him. I see him hop in this cab, so I like quick hop in, and he pulled a knife on this cab driver, and I was like, Whew. I mean, and this dude just pulled out a gun, blasted him right there, right right in the face. I didn't do it. So I mean, after after that happened, you know, we were all pretty pretty beat up about it, and. Uh, it was five years ago, and we just stopped. But like, I'm pretty happy that Chris was down, like that we could, you know, do do a thing here, and like, it's good. Yeah, man, it really still fucks with me. Tim, uh, Tim always used to know I get around a creative roadblock. If you know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Something on your mind, Chief? Huh? Let me ask you something. That story, or uh, you keep telling people. She was hot, right? Not, she was hot. Not that story. Not that story. What story? Story about Tim and that cab driver. <laughs> Doesn't add up. Tim was never strapped for cash. He never mentioned being strapped for cash. I mean, I mean, come on. Like we, we were like, we did a, we did a lot of meth that night. I'm not. We got into some shenanigans, you know. We got a lot of. You yeah. Know. See, that's what doesn't add up. Tim always told me he'd never do meth. Coke, maybe, but not, not math. No, no, we, we totally, we, we, yeah, we did a bunch of coke, I don't know, we, did, we were all fucked up, like... So what, now you're changing the fucking story? What's the story, man? Stop fucking yanking my chain. So, uh, me and Tim, at this strip club, you know, we're just doing, doing a bunch of coke, and, like, we, we're just, like, arguing about some nonsense, and we're outside, man, and it's just... It got heated, it got heated, and I shot him. I shot him because he's being a he's being a dick. Man, I fucking shot him and I I dished him in the back of the cab through through the fucking gun in the packy dude's glove box and I mean I just gotta Stop. Out. Just stop. Yeah, but I, you weren't there. Just I stop. Mean, just stop. You, you gotta leave, man. Yeah. You just gotta leave. All right, it's I, over. Just hear me out for a no, second. No, you just gotta leave, man. I'm sorry. So in discussing enthalpy as a reactor kinetics, what we see here is we have to integrate across a range of temperatures mm -hmm. to find the total enthalpy of the system. What? What we're doing here is we're actually studying for reactor kinetics. Um, after what happened with Nick, I decided to take a break and uh, come back to URI and actually go for chemical engineering. So from what we see here, the sum of all of these terms is equal to the adiabatic system that we have. What's going on, dude? Not much, how are you? How's Mark? Uh, I 
Ben? Fine, how are you? Doing all right, dude. I, I ditched the focus, picked up this sweet little thing. Just been fucking selling dope, dude. You know, doing that whole thing. Yeah, you do you, man. How's this working out for you? The, uh, the college life, I heard you were going here. Good, decided to get back into it, get an engineering degree and do something with my life. Fucking glad one of us is. Yeah, me too. How you been getting along? Pretty shitty, I'm, I'm pretty hard up for cash. I mean, yeah, I, I, I wanted to give you some time, but you're giving me more thought to that, uh, that album we started working on. A little bit. Cool, cool, what do you think about that? Could use a little help with it. All Sorry. right, I mean, you know it was coming together, that was gold, man. I do. I, I just don't, I don't like the way it ended, man. I don't want, want us to go down like that. We were one of the greatest bands there ever was. Pyramid Scheme. Let's do it. Nice. Let's do it. Nice. Hey Chris, hey Nick, it's Marty. Thanks for sending me a copy of your new album, Spaghetti About It. Am I saying that right? Anyway, I listened to it, and I gotta say, it was a pile of shit. Like, it was like listening to a Creed album. You know you know how Foo Fighters are a boring band? Yeah, this, this album is at least ten Foo Fighters. If, if Nickelback and Godsmack formed a super group called Nickel Smack, it would be better than this pile of shit you sent me. It's good to see you guys back together, but I mean, this is a bigger letdown than Guns N' Roses' Chinese democracy. It's that bad. You guys should get back in touch with Matt. I heard that Bongo Primus band he has is really good. Anyway, call me if you guys actually come up with some decent material. So, have a good day, and uh, lay off the pot, will you? End of message. To delete this message, press 7. I was the worst dad. I was a hippie. So, what are we doing on our next album? Big things. Big things. Not jazz.